Hi, my name is Tiffany McCampbell. I'm the head volleyball coach at the South Dakota School of Mines. I am very happy to announce our 2015 recruiting class. Uh, this group of freshmen is uh, filling some holes for us within our current roster. Uh, we have 11 returning players heading into the 2015 season, which we're very excited to be joining the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference. Um, first of all, I would like to thank my assistant coach, Doug Tabert. He had a very vital and huge role as far as um, helping out with this recruiting class, finding these young ladies, and, and um, having a lot of communication with them along the way, just showing the positives to the school of minds. Secondly, I'd like to thank our team. I think our team has done a phenomenal job this fall and spring as far as hosting recruits. And so, you know, I really pride ourselves within our program as far as having our current team sell themselves to recruits so they really can feel like that this team is a family. And so I'm very proud to be able to announce these six freshmen that will be joining our program in the fall. Um, we are filling some needs, um, just adding a little bit more depth with, to our roster this, team, this year, um, adding a couple setters, adding a right side, adding a DS, and adding two middles that are just going to only hopefully add to some depth that is uh, really crucial for us heading into the RMAC for the first year. Um, the first recruit I'd like to talk about is Anna Bright. She's a six foot middle hitter from Fossil Ridge High School in Fort Collins, Colorado. Um, I'm really excited about Anna. She's a very athletic, versatile, uh, very quick middle hitter. She currently plays club volleyball for the Norco Volleyball Club. So she will be our second Norco team member. She uh, played last year with our current middle, Emily Newton. So it'll be nice for them to be able to get acclimated back on the volleyball court. Um, Anna is currently looking at chemical engineering and you know when we really started recruiting Anna we were really impressed upon how athletic she was in the middle and how quick she was as far as running a slide. She's a very good blocker and, and she's a, just a wonderful person so we're really excited to see her. I think she's going to be a tremendous player for her. Um, she's going to add to the depth as far as um, our middles with Sam Johnson and Emily Newton. I think the three of them will be a very good core of middles for us um, to be able to head into the first year of the RMAC. Our second signee is Sydney Daney. She's a five, five foot seven setter. She is from Stevens High School here in Rapid City, South Dakota. She will be within my seven years here uh, at the School of Mines. She is our third Stevens player, in addition to Justine Blade and Skylar Larson. Um, very good high school program that she is coming from. And we're really excited to add a, a setter, obviously to our program that's a, a local setter, um, but also Sydney is gonna participate in track and field for the Hard Rockers as well. And we're excited to, to add a two sport athlete. Um, Sydney is, Super athletic, obviously, if she's gonna run track too, she's, she's very versatile as far as quickness and explosion. Um, and as far as being a setter, I think that's really important to be able to not only lead the floor well, but just to be able to have a level, level of athleticism that can really be comparable to um, Carson Garcia, um, our lone se senior for 2014. Um, Sydney, paced her team to the um, state chant state tournament this fall and she was made to academic all state she was voted the team mvp and then she was also ordered to the state um, all tournament team so we're excited to have sydney she's a, a great young lady and just excited to kind of see where we can take her with training in our program third thirdly i would like to announce darla Drinkon. darla actually signed this past fall with us she is a five foot nine right side hitter from lakeville south high school in lakeville minnesota she currently plays for the mizuno northern lights volleyball club um, we currently have three other northern lights players on our team with sam johnson kirsten johnson and laura beckman um, i'm always greatly impressed with the training that they receive coming out of their club season um, and darla will be no different uh, she actually i have her on my club team or my camp team this summer in July and I, I was just really impressed with Darla's personality, her work ethic. She's going to major in math and computer science so she's obviously a fantastic academic fit for us um, but I'm excited to see just Darla's just a very happy person by nature and she's so excited to be a member of this team and, and we're excited to have her as well. Our fourth um, signee is her name is Elizabeth Jensen. She is from Bishop Matchbuff High School out of Aurora, Colorado. She's a five foot seven setter. And I think she is gonna compliment Sydney Daney um, as well within this recruiting class. Um, Elizabeth plays for the Colorado Momentum Volleyball Club. 
And she actually plays with one of our other signees, Justine Langis, who signed in the fall as well. So I, it's been really kind of neat to see Elizabeth and Justine play together during club season. And um, Elizabeth's been running a 5-1 with that club team. And it'll be nice to have two freshmen come in with an automatic connection that way. Um, Elizabeth is going to major in civil engineering. Um, what really excites me about Elizabeth is that she is also, in, in addition to Sydney, she's just a competitive uh, setter and a volleyball player and I like the way she runs the floor uh, with her club team she's a very very intelligent young lady and she you can tell she's got a very good work ethic and that's was really important to me when we recruited both of these setters that they have uh, just very good work ethics that they were athletic and that they were people that are really going to work hard to do things right within our gym so um, in addition Elizabeth both her parents are School of Mines alums so we're really excited to have um, another alums young lady within our program and just to continue the educational um, success of the South Dakota School of Mines. Uh, fifth, I would like to announce Tyler Urban. She is a five foot nine outside right side from Castle Rock, Colorado and Douglas County High School in Colorado. She currently plays club for Colorado Volleyball Academy. Um, and you know what really struck me about Tyler in addition to the fact that she wants to major in applied mathematics um, Tyler is a very intelligent young lady um, but in addition to her you know wanting to be an outside right side in college I, I really like her platform skills so I could see her playing a multitude of roles within our program in the next four years um, she could see some time as a defensive specialist she could see some time as a right side and and even when you watch her play on the volleyball court and I was especially struck by this when she came in and competed with our team Tyler a competitor especially in the back row um, she's got a very quick first step and and just very excited to to add her to our team and kind of see you know what different positions she can play and how versatile she can be for us over the next four years and I know she's just very excited to play any role that she can within this program and I'm excited to to see where we can take her to the next level and then finally like I discussed earlier Justine Langis she signed this past November during our early signing period as well. She's from Arapahoe High School in Centennial, Colorado. And Justine is a six foot middle hitter as well. She's playing for the Colorado Momentum Volleyball Club also. Um, Justine plans to major in geology. And I think adding these six young ladies will add some depth to our program that was is going to be highly beneficial to our returning group. Um, for the 2015 season, we return 11 returners. We graduated our senior setter, Carson Garcia, um, who just had a phenomenal career for us. So trying to add some setters to this group, trying to add some um, frontline attackers to increase our blocking. Um, I just felt like we really needed to um, just add a little bit more depth to our team. We carried a roster of 12 this past fall and you know, had a very good season as far as finishing at 13-11. But I know the team is not satisfied with finishing um, just a little over 500 and, and our coaching staff as well. We would like to be competitive in the RMAC um, for our first year as members of Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference. And I feel like we've, we've kind of put some tools together to help us really move forward with this program, but also trying to be competitive. Um, Final thing is in 2015, it'll be the 40th year of Hard Rocker Volleyball. 1975 was the first year of competition for South Dakota School of Mines and its volleyball program. So I am very excited. This is gonna be the 40th season and it's gonna be our first year in the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference. And we've had so many fantastic young ladies that have graduated and played for, throughout this program and for the South Dakota School of Mines. And I'm just excited to um, host a celebration this fall and thank those coaches and thank those players. And, um, you know, we can't say I'm, enough that we're excited to finally have a conference home but you know we're excited about the future of this program we realize it's going to be a significant amount of work this fall to be what we want to be but i think our team and our coaching staff is ready to uh, just continue moving forward with this program and and to be as success successful as we can so thank you